Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie. In this video, I'm going to explain Bootstrap 4 Grid System, which is the best framework for creating responsive websites. Now, Bootstrap 4 Grid System has five classes for different screen resolutions ranging from 576 pixels to 1200 pixels. So I've created this chart so we can understand how each class behaves and I've labeled each class with, with a different color. The pixel size for each class indicates the width breaking point of the screen size at which the columns are going to expand to horizontal or collapse to a single vertical column as the size resolution is reduced below the specified width. So if you watch the largest column down here, which is a class for extra large screen devices, as I drag the window below the screen resolution, screen width of 1200 pixels, you can see that the columns collapse into a single column. And as I expand it back, the columns are then expanded into a horizontal column once again. So if you watch the next one, which is the large column, 992 pixels, which is uh, labeled by orange, as I drag the window size below 992 pixels, the columns collapse into a single column. And as I expand it back, they expand to horizontal once again. And that's going to be the same behavior for the rest of the classes. If you watch the medium column, it collapses into a vertical column. As I drag the screen size to 768 and less, and finally, the small column, which is green, is going to collapse after 576 pixels. The last column, which is designed for extra small devices, labeled by blue at the top, is never going to collapse because it's designed that way for all the devices that are below 576 pixels. So as I expand the screen size back, the first one that's going to expand is a small one, then medium, large, and finally extra large as I expand the screen size back to 1200 pixels pixels and above. Okay, now let's look at the source code of this chart and I'll explain what the column widths actually mean. So this is a source code for the chart that I just, that I just showed you and you can see that I'm including the Bootstrap 4 Alpha, which is the latest version of Bootstrap. I'm also including a custom CSS, which is just a slight modifications that I made by uh, importing a custom font, creating a border for our DIV so we can see the chart and uh, also making the font white of the headers. So first of all, I wanted to show you guys the headers because I've used five different classes for, of Bootstrap for creating these headers. So the first one is primary, bg-primary, bg-success, bg-info, bg-warning, and bg-danger. And if we go to Bootstrap documentation, you can see that all these classes are different color and that's why it's showing up as different colors uh, on our chart. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. And uh, so first of all, for creating the columns, we first have to include them inside a DIV class named row and that's how the columns are grouped inside that row. So the first one is the one that's designed for extra small devices, which is this blue column up here. And as you can see, I have four identical columns inside of that row. And here I have four DIV tags, each with a call dash three. And the number here indicates the actual column width. I actually also put the text inside of that column so that we can know what kind of size that column is as we're looking at the chart. Also remember that inside each row, all the columns added together have to add up to number 12. Uh, otherwise, if I, for example, delete this last column and refresh the page, we're gonna have empty space instead of a column. So make sure to have number 12. And if you look at the rest of the columns, they all, all add up to that number. So the small one, three plus six equals nine plus three equals 12. For the medium one, I have 12 identical columns, each with a size one, which all add up to number 12. For 992 pixels, I have six columns, each size two, which also add up to number 12. And finally, extra large, nine plus three equals 12. So just remember that when you're creating the columns inside a row, make sure that 
they all add up to number 12. Now the next one I wanted to show you is the small column and here I actually incorporated two different classes and uh, I mixed them together. So if we look back to the chart here, watch the small column labeled by green as I reduce the screen size back to small. You can see that the middle column expands to a bigger width and as I drag it back above 576 pixels, all the columns are then resized to identical width. So that's how we can actually mix in the classes and you can have as many mix-ins as you want for different screen resolutions. Okay, so that's the small one and uh, you can see that I've created these uh, column sizes here. So for the small device, you can see that the middle column has expanded to number six, which is why uh, it's showing six here and three on the sides. And for, for the medium size, they're all identical label with number four. And again, they're all adding up to number 12. Next one is the medium column. And here I just have 12 different columns, all with size one, which all add up to number 12 as well. And if we look at the chart, you can see all these columns here. Uh, next one is column large. And here I have six different columns, each with size two. And finally, the extra large column. I have two columns, one size nine, which is a lot uh, larger than size three. And that's exactly what we can see here. If I expand it back, you can see that the column nine is a lot bigger than three. And so what's a little bit confusing uh, when you're first learning this is that you can associate the class names like large with a column number. So the LG doesn't have anything to do with actual column width. It refers to the uh, breaking point at which the column is going to expand or collapse. And all the uh, numbers are going to be identical for all the classes when it comes to column width. And also remember that each class scales up, so you don't need to specify any larger classes if the column sizes are going to remain the same. So for this uh, blue one up here, if I already have uh, these identical columns size, which are all identical size, and I want the rest of the columns to remain uh, the same size as I expand the screen, we don't need to specify more classes for that. They all scale up to the same size. So this has been the Bootstrap 4 grid system. Clever Techie out.